Hello everyone. So in this pattern tutorial, we will see how to print this pattern. So this pattern actually is not a single pattern. This is a combination of two pattern. So the first pattern is this one, and the second pattern is this one. So first we will see how to. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to print this pattern. So number of lines in this pattern is five. So we will run a outer loop, which will run for number of lines. So this loop will ensure that this loop will run for five times. So this loop we can ensure that this pattern we will print. With the help of this outer loop. Now, in the first line, there are four spaces. In second line, there are three spaces. Two, one, zero. So we need a loop. With so this uh, tutorial, this practice we have already done in the previous tutorial. What we have done this with the condition we have given is equal to k less than five. Minus i, and we have taken the value of k one. And here we have printed space. So in first line we need four space. So if you see the condition, in first line i value equal to zero. So here five minus zero will be five. So this loop will start from one and it will execute uh, until this k value is less than five. So it will execute four times: one, two, three, four. And so it will provide four spaces. And then we need to print single star in first line, two star in second line. So for printing a star, we'll take another loop. Here we will put j less than I. So in first line, I value is zero, J value also zero. So we will put it here less than equal to, and then we will print star. And at the end, we need to provide a new line. So first, see. So, uh, first we will see what is the output of this program. So we will compile this program. Okay, there is a error. Actually, we have not declared variable k. We again compile it and we will run it. Okay, there is a problem. Okay, what is the problem with this one? So here we actually I mistake and take take a I plus plus. Okay, we will again compile it and we will run it. So let me clear the screen. So, so we have <laughs> printed the upper triangle. Now, next we have to print this triangle. So, here if you can see. Uh, there are four lines. So for second pattern, we will take another loops. So for second pattern, there are four lines. That's why we will take a loop which will run four times. Now in this second pattern, so this is the first line of second pattern. So in first line there is one space. In second line there is two space. Third line there is three space and fourth line there is four space. So in order to provide space we can take use of variable i. So we will take k equal to zero, k less than equal to i, k plus plus so for 
first line of second pattern i value is 0 and this loop if you see the condition k less than or equal to 0 so first time it will run one time when i value will become 1 this loop will run two times so this loop will give us required spaces in first line one space in second line two space in third line three space in fourth line four space so our target is to print this pattern this is the second pattern so our space part is done the next part is star so in first line we need to print four stars so we'll take one more loop we will see what will be the condition later and we will print star at the end of outer loop we need to provide new line okay now question is that how to set this condition <coughs> this condition must be in such a way that for first line it need to be executed four times so we will set this condition like j less than 5 minus i so <coughs> for first line i equal to 0 5 minus 0 5 j value has to be less than 5 and j is starting from 0 so it will run 5 times but we need to run it 4 times so we will make it 1 so now if we run this program ok so our required pattern is printed now it, uh, if we while printing this star if we provide one space after star like this one and here also if we make it star space if we run it again hooray our diamond is printed so this program can be used to print a diamond or this program can also be used to print this pattern thank you very much for watching